Oh, these? Um, they're keys. Australia, official. So I'm pretty legit now, as far as influencers go. Honestly, like, what a great day to be unemployed. Yeah, I got him at a discount rack at Ross. Your point? Whew, okay, I'm so tired. Honestly, I'm just trying to stay rev because an object in motion stays in motion. Tom Hanks said that. Um, I'm excited. If you guys know anything about me, you guys know that this girl loves no makeup makeup. Meaning makeup where you're absolutely wearing makeup and it absolutely looks like you're wearing makeup, but not really. Honestly, I think it's in the priming, kind of. But this here today, this here today, we are going to be trying out this little Manajama. It's Kevin Aquan. Um, what the? Dude, stupid expensive. Like it was very expensive, but it was a gift. And so what if it was a gift I asked for? But it was a gift nonetheless. And I really want to try it out in front of you guys. I'm actually really excited to try it out. I have read the deets and the tales of this guy. It's basically tinted sheer to light coverage foundation infused with skincare benefits and blur some reflections for a natural even finish. The weightless silky texture is infused with butterfly bush flower extract. Butterfly bush? That's intimate protects against free radicals caused by blue light dope formulated with hyaluronic acid we love her your skin will be left as if you were wearing next nap what the f kind of primer is that i'm just gonna use this one guys and my tatcha primer because i need the moisture and the tatcha one is just really nice at keeping your makeup in place i also I'm gonna be using the essence makeup mist and it's gonna be a great time let's get all this going before i enter a rim um, this is a whale, by the way. We gotta save him. Levantate! Maybe if I listen to like strong techno, it'll like jumpstart my heart. So this is the Strip Nude Skin Tint, which honestly, I don't want to be that right now. I got mine in the shade Medium ST06. Um, I believe there's like 10 shades, maybe less. I'm not sure. They do range quite nicely, but they do not go dark at all, which is like... First of all, Kevin, I'm gonna need you to do better. I'm so dizzy. But it has four and a half stars and only nine reviews, which... It makes me a little skeptics. I still want to try it out anyway because this does sound like a dream. It's supposed to be super sheer coverage, but it's supposed to even out and give you like a nice natural finish to the skin, which I'm all about. You guys know I love light coverage. That's my white whale. That's all I want in life, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and use a beauty blender to do this. I could use a brush, but I don't want to. And that's that. Come on. Maybe a little bit too dark for her, but it's fine. So a little bit doesn't go a long way. Noted. How many ounces did I get? One fluid? Echo. Yo, so she's luminous the mattress. She's very shiny to be natural. Don't love this the most. Also, the way she's looking on the skin is not, not my favorite. Check something real quick. Sometimes going over it with um a brush kind of mattifies it a little bit. Honestly, this is not my favorite in the least especially in how it's feeling on my skin like i don't i don't love it sounded so good in theory but i i think it's gonna turn out to be like what i was sadly expecting and just like an overly luminous bb cream i don't have a lot of love for those in my heart i'm gonna try and play with the concealer and the setting powder get these brows done get my whole makeup done and then we'll check back in but for now it's just way too luminous and honestly like it's creepy crawling in my creases also this was 42 dollars so two whole jacksons and a washington maybe three with tax like why why is this powder feeling cold right now it even it's refreshing is this supposed to be refreshing why is it cold is that a altoid excuse you all right 
right guys, I went ahead and just used my Fenty concealer because it's one of my favorites at the moment. It just leaves my skin looking really nice and that one really is a true natural matte finish. Well, I should say like a true natural finish because it's not even that matte. This, on the other hand, is starting to look better. The coverage is very sheer to medium, which I like. I put on the concealer just to kind of cover up my eyes a little bit more because I have not slept very well and it shows. That's like the theme of today's video, okay? sleep deprivation. So as of now, I like it. It's not anything too shocking. I have to live in it. I literally just set it with powder. So like, let me live in it first. Let me do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back. We'll talk and we'll commingle. But for now, I don't hate it. Okay, so makeup is completely done. For some reason, this got really matte on me. And I know I did use a lot of powder. It got very matte on me. And not that I don't love love, but I am waiting for it to be like natural and like skin like but the foundation itself like the skin looks nice it's just very i don't know guys it's it's interesting have i had something in my teeth this whole time well we're just gonna have to deal with that one but i like it i like it so far because if one my skin does look like skin it's just not the finish that i want it to be just yet i'll give it an hour i'll maybe do a check-in or two if not look in the description box and i'll let you guys know how it wore but honestly as of now guys she looks good she looks cute she's just all powdered up but the way it feels it's what's getting me because it literally feels like there's nothing on my skin that's always a plus also i don't feel full coverage like my mole is clearly peeking through both both of them are and I like it when that is happening she did get a shade that was a little bit too dark for her but then again it's the summertime and this melanin it do be playing tricks though but I'm gonna go ahead and go I'll keep you guys updated and that's and that's the outro 